No, I'm dead. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was one heck of a pile up. <laughs> There's so many things! Content Warning is a brand new game by Landfall Games that's taken the gaming community by storm. With over 20 hours already, yeah, I know, it's been less than a week since release. Uh, I've run into my fair share of monsters, so I thought I'd give insight in all of them, and a few tricks as well. Uh, also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to kick off this channel with a bang, and uh, I'll be releasing a useful tips and tricks video soon, so stick around for that. Uh, I actually found these tricks out on my own, thought they were very useful. Uh, and I'm about to show you some timestamps, go ahead and use that if you want to only see specific monsters, but... You know, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, we're gonna start off with the snail zombie, or I like to say the snail bee. It's uh super slow. Um, you can see in this video here, it it for the most part just kind of stumbles after you. It's really easy to avoid. All you have to do is really don't get cornered. Um, if you're in a hallway, it gets a little difficult because they're like they can just grab you if you try to run past. They don't do a lot of damage. Look here, it's it's very slow, and to get away from them, you just gotta run. It's it's not that big of a deal. A horde of them can spawn though. Next up, we have the whisk head or whisker enemy. He is a charger type enemy who, after standing still for a bit, will charge at you if you're standing still. Um, he's pretty easy to avoid. Just do what I'm doing, kind of just lead on him on, and if you do that two to three times, he'll run away. Uh, he can find you again and start doing it, but the most dangerous part is how much damage he does. In this clip, you see I was at full health. I almost died from that. If you have dumb damage taken, you might die right away from a hit. Uh, and whenever he runs away, he actually can curve. I didn't know this whenever I did this clip and almost got absolutely bodied by him. Um, yeah, that was fun. And on this map, you can lead him straight off the edge, so that I recommend doing that. This next one's more of an environmental hazard than a monster, but I consider it a monster considering the fact of how easily it can kill you and the fact that it's like a living, breathing thing. But uh, I call it the ceiling star. I've heard other people call it that too. It's a hazard that is on the ceiling and it will grab you if you step in this uh, little grabber right there. You can see it. And uh, I, a lot of people used to think you, if you got stuck in it, you were dead, but that's not true at all. If you have a friend, they actually can throw it, something at the ceiling star and it'll drop you. This is what it looks like whenever it grabs you. It does, deals some damage over time. And I'm about to test out something I always wanted to test out to see if you can escape by yourself by throwing it at it. And I actually was able to do that. Um, I was never able to successfully redo that afterwards, but yeah. Uh, and this is what it looks like when someone else gets grabbed and it's it's so easy to let go, get them to let go. You just throw something at it. Uh, thing to note though, afterwards, the hand comes back down so you can get grabbed right again. Next up, we got the spider. You know, it's the, the name's pretty uh, self-explanatory. This guy is a spider and he tries to chase you, shoot webs at you, and these webs are actually really dangerous if you get stuck in them in like a tight space. But if you're able to lead him around like a big open space, he's not that big of a deal. He's not super fast and it takes around like three hits to kill you if you if you get uh, snagged by him. Um, but this is what it looks like if you get caught in his web. It, it just slows you down. If you get caught in a ton of them, it's really hard to escape, but just to escape from it, just kind of keep running in a direction. Eventually, you'll get pulled uh, out of it. Now, this little guy is called the Screamer. He just sneaks up behind you whenever you have your back to him. He starts screaming. He's completely harmless, and whenever you stare at him for too long, he just runs away. And he's my favorite because, you know, he's just a little goober. Now, the robot dog, which is given away by its red light with from the turret on its body, is, uh, he's, he's a bit of a trouble, but, like, not really. It, it depends on the situation. Most of the time, you're just gonna run away from him. Uh, I've been told and I've heard that the turret is motion activated, but I haven't really figured this out yet. You can test it yourself. Just run away. Moving on to a more dangerous enemy. This is what I call the Naga, or some people call it the Centipede, whatever you want to call it. 
It is a scary dude. He's fast and he'll just run towards you if he sees you, or I really slither towards you, pick you up and then throw you doing massive damage. And what sucks is sometimes you're still laying on the ground after he throws you, so he can just pick you right up again and throw you again to kill you. So you want to avoid this guy at all costs. Just try to run away from him. Um, also, whenever he grabs people, it seems like he targets and a player that's around, as you can see in this clip, he, st he tries to turn towards me to throw my friend. And, uh, well, if he hits you, it ends up doing damage to the other player as well. But you can see in this clip, he missed, but my friend died, so that kind of sucks. All right, so we got another dangerous one. This one is either called, like, the barnacle ball, tentacle ball, whatever. Uh, it's another very dangerous one. It's fast. It's loud, so that's a key sign that it's around, and it will do an attack where it starts to spin, which will pull in players, and it will start killing it very rapidly. And also, if it just touches you while running at you, it'll kill you that way too. All, another attack it can do is it actually releases a toxic gas, which will uh, slowly kill you if you get into it. But avoid this guy. This guy's a bit of a weird one. He actually disappears completely whenever you shine your light on him. I call him the invisible. And uh, if he grabs you, he'll drag you away, make you drop all of your stuff and take damage slowly over time. This is actually a big deal if you're by yourself, but if you have your friends, they can shine their light on him and it'll slowly make him disappear and save your life. Next up, we got a harmless guy. I call him the tardigrade because he looks like one, but um, he, he just grabs you, drags you away. He doesn't hurt you directly. But he can lead you into things that can hurt you. The biggest problem is him dragging you away to, like, from your friends. But one thing I noticed as I was getting shot while being held by him, he was completely protecting me against the shots. And uh, I actually died to the dog a second later. But um, it, the biggest issue is he comes along, steals your friend. It's especially annoying when that friend has the camera. The Giggler is basically a person wearing a white sheet with eyes and a mouth cut out of it with a knife and he'll chase you around and to attack they actually jump at you like so and they'll do that knock you to the ground. They're they're relatively dangerous. You can outrun them. They kind of pause every once in a while to stare at you for some reason and actually whenever they see you the first time they do that as well but they can jump really high. So if you're up high, don't think you're that safe. What I think is the most creative of all the monsters is the Iron Maiden. It'll capture you and move whenever you're not looking at it. And to be freed, you need a friend to input a captcha. If you fail it three times or run out of time, your friend dies inside the cage. Um, if that's the case, then the, the Iron Maiden won't move anymore. Or if you solve it, solve it, it won't move anymore. But one thing is that if your friend or you get killed inside the cage by something else, it doesn't actually register it as solved. So the Iron Maiden will be active still. In this clip, you see that I didn't know that was going to happen. It actually grabbed me before I could save my friend and I died in the end. When it comes to the iBird, you want to be careful where you point your light. And that is your camera light or your flashlight because it does not like the light. It's perfectly chill and kind of acts like a weeping angel whenever you don't like turn the light on it. It'll move whenever you're not looking, but as soon as you turn on the light on its eye, its pupils will dilate and this will happen. He is fast and does quite a lot of damage, which will actually make you fall over, unfortunately. And that means he can just keep hitting you if you're on the ground for long enough. But uh, just run away if this happens. <laughs> Usually this happens because someone's not paying attention and shines their light on them on accident. But for the most part, otherwise, if you're careful, completely harmless and you'll just wander around whenever you're not looking at him. This is how quickly he'll kill you though once you start getting hit. It does around like a third of damage. On the more explosive side of things, we have the Grenadier. I would call it something else, but YouTube would probably not like me saying that. This guy hops around like a frog and throws grenades or bombs at you. And if you get too close, he actually will activate the bombs all over him and he will essentially blow himself up to kill you. Uh, what my recommended advice is just run up to him, activate the bombs and then run away. So he's done, dealt with for the ear dog or whisperer, whatever you want to call it. There's two things you can do. You can be quiet and sneak around or you can simply do this. Uh, 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 uh.
<laughs> the last of the normal monsters, but certainly not the weakest. This guy is insanely scary. Is the giant. I have no idea how to deal with this guy. I, I run into him a lot. Usually as a result in a team wipe. All I know is you can distract him here. I got, he noticed me. And I think the biggest thing is just have someone distract him and everyone else runs. He's fast. He'll kill you like, like all, sometimes in one hit. It's terrifying. Like every, every, every time we've experienced him leads in a ton of screaming. And if he's stuck in the ground, guess what? He's dangerous too. Check this out. Yeah, he just slid along the ground and killed my friend. I don't know what that is. Now listen to this. This is the pure terror of the giant. I'm... I might need some healing. Ooh, big guy, run! Big guy, big guy, big guy, big guy, big guy, give me... Honorable mention before our last monster, but sometimes you'll find these animal statues inside of the facility. And I wanted to point out, one is perfectly harmless, one is not. If you look at them closely, one spelled animal statue correctly, and if you look at the other one, well, it's completely the wrong spelling. You only will notice it's it, like animal statue. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, <laughs> it causes you just to float up to the ceiling, taking constant damage, and it's kind of like how a, the ceiling star works. Um, you don't stop floating until you die. So if this happens, just fall. I don't know what the point of these things are other than someone getting curious and picking them up. There's a few other hazards you can find around, but I thought this one would, would be funny to mention. Last but certainly not least is the flicker or floater or monolith. There's many names for this thing. It's the rarest monster. Uh, it'll spawn sometimes and you'll notice that it's there because the orbs will be flickering and there will be a weird garbled noise. This is what he looks like in better view. Um, I got to experience him again for like way better. He'll appear normally sometimes and it's only whenever you stare at him. He'll force you to stare at him and slowly you'll die. Anyone with you that's staring at him too will die. Sometimes other players won't even see him, which is weird. Not much is known. All I know is, uh, he's dangerous, <laughs> he'll kill you, and so far there's no escape. Try to tase him. Alright, and that's almost the end of the video. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. I had fun making this video, I have fun time playing content warning. Sorry that I stutter a little bit sometimes, it's just a speech thing that I have a problem with, I need to work on it. But if you enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it around. I am going to be, again, posting a tips and tricks video because I found out some really good, like, like game improving tips and there some of them are glitches but like they're really useful um and stick around there's some bloopers i thought they were funny you might not think it's funny but you know whatever it uh make sure to subscribe too uh i appreciate it thank you oh yeah and one more thing my friends stressed out sketch made the thumbnail and they've been an awesome help through all this they were the person in the ball of the clips and i I appreciate everything they've done for me, so thanks, Sketch. Sketch run. Sketch run. No. You died? Yeah. Oh, he's chill. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not chill though. Uh, you get. Uh oh. You go. I'm gonna do a thing. I can't go. It's so done. You need to run. You need to leave. Oh, I'm dead. This isn't the way 